Hello, and welcome to the 15th annual LD Micro main event. I'm Jonathan Miller, and I'm here with George Palacaras, CEO and founder of Metamaterials Inc., NASDAQ ticker MMAT. George, we're excited to hear about all the new things you're coming out with, all the new products and developments. Would you please tell our viewers a little bit more about Metamaterials and where you're focusing? Well, thanks for having me, Jonathan. So, uh, Meta, Metamaterials Inc. is a nanomaterials, nanotechnology company. And we specialize in uh, breakthrough performance materials. Our record to date is a 40x improvement on what was there previously. And we have applications ranging from automotive to consumer electronics, energy, like batteries, even medical devices. Uh, we have been uh, around for the last 10 years, but only uh, about a year ago in June 2021, we became a NASDAQ listed company, first of our kind. Uh, we have more than uh, 500 patents in our portfolio. Wow. And our innovation profile is such that uh, basically we enable, we, if you think of us as the bells and whistles of technology, uh, we enable companies to do more with less. Our nanomaterials offer incredible advantages. Uh, basically, if you think of uh, any surface, we can change the physics of that surface to help it basically perform and outperform the competition. Wow. And what's your background? How did you get involved with the company? Great question. So my, my background is engineering and material science. I studied in the UK and started the company actually in the UK and started moving uh, west. So first in Canada, uh, we're expanding across three locations in Canada. We now have three locations in the US. Wow. Our first acquisition was a place in Pleasanton, not too far from here in the West Coast. Uh, but I have been very fortunate to have some of the best um, engineers and scientists, have uh, just over 200 people now. Uh, we have people from Stanford University and uh, the West Coast, East Coast, and some of the best incredible engineers from, from an industry perspective. One of the highlights for us is, however, the partners that we have gathered. Companies like PPG, companies like LG, wow. companies like Airbus and Lockheed Martin and a few others. Uh, these are the true um, innovation experts mm -hmm. that understand when something has breakthrough as our nanomaterials comes through uh, and they work together with us. That's kind of where the magic happens. I am sure, yeah. yeah. And for our viewers that don't know, there's thousands of applications for nanotechnology. And I understand you're working on some cutting edge stuff. You brought a bill with us here. Yeah. Would you like to highlight anything new that you're working on? Absolutely. So nanotechnology uh, has always been thought about as a science project. Mm -hmm. So anything, anytime anybody mentioned nanotech, they thought, okay, it's a, something out of the laboratory of some crazy science scientist. Fiction. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so the difference is that in the last five years, especially, uh, the cost of nanotechnology, nanomaterials, has come so far down to the point where now we can all enjoy its benefits. So the mission of our company was to democratize nanotechnology and bring the benefits to improve life on Earth. One example is uh, banknote security, a common item that everybody has in their pockets or in their bank accounts. Uh, so security is the most important thing when it comes to banknotes. Uh, our technology, uh, basically what you see here is a, it's a film, I'll it's a security it tag. Basically, if I move it, you can see some lines moving. It has a 3D effect. And basically the 3D effect allows us to, for the first time in history, have a nano imprint film that's very, very thin, has no ink, has about 5 billion pixels that's almost impossible to counterfeit. Yeah. And this is just one example of where uh, innovation can help us on a daily object like a banknote. Now, this market, you know, in the day we live in a digital age, so everybody thinks about digital currencies. You know, you use your uh, Apple Pay and you go about your day. Uh, one Interesting thing that I learned uh, in the last couple of years, during COVID, there was an increase 
in the need for banknotes, about a 20% increase. Wow. The reason is that most people, um, some people that have lost their jobs have started working for cash money. So if you think of projects at home where you're expanding your house or building a new deck, people started paying cash instead of through, let's say, uh, normal digital currencies or uh, account transfers. Yeah. And with this technology, basically, we are just showcasing what's possible at very high volumes. Our production capacity today is 7.5 million meters square. And we're just scratching the surface of what's feasible with nanotechnology in a daily object like this. There's many other applications. Uh, one particular application I'm excited about is uh, in the electric vehicle space, batteries, yep. um, that I'm happy to kind of talk about as, as we progress. Yeah, absolutely. I know, I'd be very interested in knowing what some of the core industry focuses are for your tech. We have um, a platform technology. So sometimes it's difficult to know which market applications we should go after first. Mm -hmm. uh, most of our market applications have basically cre been created by our partners and customers who come to us asking us to solve a problem that sometimes was otherwise thought that it was unsolvable. Mm -hmm. One such problem is battery safety. And uh, this is an important problem that affects everyone. Yeah. Recently, in Florida, there were some electric vehicles that had what's called thermal runaways yeah. and basically spontaneously catching fire after being submerged in salt water you know, uh, for a few days. So salt water and batteries don't go together. Don't mix. Don't mix. And so we have a, created a product, which is a, it's called a battery separator. What it is, it's a nanoporous ceramic membrane. It's a wow. film that you can put in the middle of the battery that basically helps the battery not catch fire, not catch yeah, barrier, term. basically. Exactly, right. a barrier. The difference is that the, there are barriers today in batteries, but those barriers are made out of common plastic. When a battery heats up to about 60 degrees or more, the plastic Burns melts. And when that happens, then the electrolytes start to connect. And that's when you have a short, and that's when you have a fire. So in our case, our material is made out of ceramic, a specialty ceramic that does not shrink even at 200 degrees centigrade. Wow. There's less than 1% shrinkage, which is the reason why LG selected this technology to be part of their next generation battery program. Uh, LG has already licensed the first generation of our product and today uh, one of the exciting things that we're developing a second and a third generation uh, production of our technology with uh, interesting partners. Well, we look forward to following that story. And, it, and uh, for those that don't know, there are so many applications for this and it sounds like you're in a realm where there is a lot of possibility for you to change the world, really. We believe that um, one of the biggest challenges to change the world or even to help maintain the world is uh, creating a world that's abundant of materials. The raw materials that we, uh, that are in everyday objects. If you think of your smartphone, uh, their smartphone has a number of rare earth and scarce materials. Yep. They're very difficult to mine. Uh, for example, indium, which is in every display, it's a scarce metal. You think of cobalt and batteries and other materials. Uh, there's just not enough mines or ores today to fulfill the demand that exists. By 2035, analysts predict that we will run out of copper. Wow, that's not ecologically sustainable. Correct. Yeah. So our way of helping the world and creating a better future for ourselves is uh, our nanotechnology. We have invented processes that use a fraction of the metals. So where you'd use, let's say, a few microns thick copper or other scarce materials like indium, our processes can do more with less. 
So we can use a fraction of the metal, like a tenth. Our record is one, one hundred, wow. without losing the performance of the materials. That's tremendous. As a result, you get not only to use less, but you have the ability to basically process materials at the next level of scale, creating more abundance mm -hmm. and making those materials run a bit longer so for everybody to benefit yeah, from the applications. And how would you summarize the company's bottom line right now? Our goal is uh, over the next couple of years to really enable two or three major applications. We have built a manufacturing Next month, we are doing a grand opening of our new headquarters. 68,000 square foot facility added to wow. our uh, 200,000 plus square foot facilities around the world. So for us, our bottom line is to basically bring these benefits of nanotechnology to the macro world. And to do that, we rely on our partners. We rely on um, incredible support coming from the supply chain who want what we have. And it's just a, a matter of time in terms of execution. And people will see it, investors will see it, this reflected in every quarter, every result that we publish. Fantastic. And it, in, in your closing statement, is there anything you'd like to say to investors to keep an eye out for? Any new and exciting uh, things coming on the horizon? We are excited about uh, our grand opening, November 17th. There's going to be some exciting things that we're going to showcase. I can't reveal too much right now, but uh, November should be an excellent month. Fantastic. Well, George, we appreciate you coming by and supporting the LD Micro event. We enjoyed having you here. Again, I'm speaking with George Palacaris, CEO of Meta Materials, ticker symbol META. George, thank you so much for stopping by today. Thanks very much, Sophie. Absolutely. Appreciate you.